Every business, regardless of its size, needs to manage inventory. Overstocking or not delivering inventory on time will affect the customer experience. We're now able to service countries that we potentially didn't necessarily work in before. We probably carry out maybe 20% more virtual surveys than we ever did. At SMEs, the future of inventory management is digital, whether it's a ship chandler or a moving company. Whenever an order comes in manually, when my staff key into the CRM system, the inventory will be deducted accordingly. There are about a thousand ships anchored in Singapore's waters at any point in time. According to the International Labour Organization, owners of ships must abide by a few guidelines when planning crew meals. Nutritional value, quality and religious requirements. Saya masak dalam sehari untuk 15 kru. Saya yang selalunya planning untuk bahan-bahan makanan. Setelah itu, selesai saya menulis bahan-bahan makanan itu, saya berikan kepada chief officer. Setelah itu, chief officer yang mengirim bahan-bahan itu ke Priboy. Priboy shipping serves a very specialized market. The supplying of halal groceries to ships. Farzana Begum inherited the business from her late father, Muhammad Yusuf, in 2017. For each vessel, the orders can range between 5,000 USD to about 10,000 USD. It depends on the number of crews they actually have inside and the duration of their voyage. If they have like 20 over crew and then they have like a month or two months till their next port, so the order value will be bigger. A typical order contains about 400 grocery items. Farzana needs a day to work out the quote. This then goes to the ship captain for adjustments. After the ship captain finalized the order, that is when my operation staff will go through the warehouse to start picking up all the items for packing and palletizing. And then that's where we have a lot of issues when uh, you know, suddenly we do not have the stocks on hand. And the time frame from the time we receive the order till the day we have to deliver can be really short. The shortest we ever have is like less than 24 hours. But having to work with a short turnaround time wasn't the biggest problem. When I first took over in 2017, our business model is mainly manual. So we will get orders from the ship captains um, via messages, emails, or even WhatsApp. So we will have to manually you know, key in the prices in the Excel sheet, and, then, and that takes a long time. And then errors bound to happen quite frequently because of the typo error, like sometimes one decimal point can change the whole price, you see? Farzana realized that these problems could be resolved by digitalizing all data, whether it was new order information or existing stock. In 2019, she decided to take a DIY approach. I googled and I found out about this Shopify e-commerce platform, which looks quite simple. So I started reading up on it and go on YouTube to figure out how it's done. And we sign up for a subscription. And that's when I started creating the e-commerce website. That is um, the first one I did. It's very basic. Ship captains then logged into place orders directly. But some were not keen to get on board with this new system. So currently, when our customers order from the e-commerce system, the inventory will get deducted automatically. However, we still have ship owners or captains that actually send us orders via Excel sheets. So for that, my staff will have to create another invoice on another system. And the inventory for that uh, particular order will not be captured on the e-commerce platform. Across the island, a moving firm faced a similar challenge of coming up with better ways to serve their customers. 
In 2012, Bradstreet started Classic Moving with just 1,300 US dollars. 10 years later today, the company has 100 workers and a bustling trade in both local and international home and commercial relocations. Acquisitions sped up that growth and propelled a name change. In 2018, uh, we acquired the Family Movers and DSP Relocations, and this is how CFM Alliance Group was formed. So the Classic Moving and the Family Movers are international household goods movers. So they specialize in, in export packing people's goods from their home and sending it all over the world. Also the same in reverse when goods arrive here in Singapore then obviously we, we deliver and unpack the goods for the client. Charles Leo is the lead of operations for the family movers and DSP relocations. The international moving business is a global business, but at the same time, it's actually a very uh, small and closely knitted industry. It is a very heavily brick and mortar business. This will never change, but Yet at the same time, there's a lot of technology, innovation, digital tools that we wanted to embark on. Okay, then this room. Okay, this is the uh, master bedroom. No, this is the second, the second bedroom. bedroom. Okay. Moves usually start with a location survey. The surveyor does a detailed inventory, which serves as a point of reference for all parties involved. Do you require hanging wardrobes for jackets? Anyway? Not for these clothes, Not this. No. Okay, thank you. In general, our industry is quite a traditional industry and it has been for many, many years. You've got to gain the trust with the client and no better way of doing that than, than being with them and, and them seeing you. That could be the difference between winning a move and, and losing a move sometimes. However, the arrival of the pandemic made the need for innovative solutions even more apparent. We were forced or encouraged, let's say, to, to start looking at it a little bit different. We've had to look into how we solve them challenges. You know, one was the virtual survey tool, which was great because we couldn't go to the client's residence, so that solved that one. Technology is revolutionizing the way companies are being run. By 2026, the global market for inventory management software is projected to hit 2.8 billion US dollars. Farzana Begum owns Preboy Shipping. Its specialty? Supplying halal provisions to shipping vessels. After building an e-commerce website in 2019 to solve ordering problems, Farzana encountered new ones. Customers who weren't keen to hop onto the digital bandwagon. The combination of both online and offline orders caused tallying discrepancies and stock fulfillment issues at the back end. We will try to check with suppliers whether they can make it on time to deliver some stock, or else we might need to rush out to the nearest supermarket and grab things off the shelf. These last minute trips also took up to two to three man hours at least twice a month. Each product that is out of stock, if we have to buy it off the rack at the supermarkets, it can easily cost at least 10 to 15% more. With that cost, it can sometimes go up to hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Farzana needed a new solution that could track all the orders in one system to facilitate inventory management. So in 2020, Farzana started working with software engineer Rishikesh Savant. Rishi suggested building a CRM, or Customer Relationship Management System, that integrated the e-commerce website. So for Preboy, the, the entire project is all about how we can create convenience. So what we have done here for Preboy is digitize the entire process for them. So, you know, we've created two integrated software working hand in hand. The CRM system will be a dedicated channel for Farzana to interact with her customers and manage orders at the same time. 
whenever an order comes in be it manually when my staff key into the CRM system the inventory will be deducted accordingly so that will eliminate the one of the major problems we have so this is the website for Preboy Cmart, which is the online e-commerce platform for ordering system of the essentials for the ships. The captains or uh, the crew members can order online on Preboy Cmart of the items they need for their personal consumptions or also for the items which is required for the ship crew or by the ship captain. Right now, we will show how the order is processed from the back end. So now Farzana and her team will be logging on to the Preboy Shipping CRM backend where she will be able to see all of her orders and she'll be able to process it from there. As you can see, you know, we just got an order right now one minute ago, which is under the status is processing. So that means she can email the invoice, you can resend the order notification. All of the other details about the billing, the shipping details, the address, the ETA, everything is given here. She can even send a PDF invoice as well. Okay, oh, so that means the customer account manager, whoever that's in charge of this vessel, that will be their name. Okay, got that. The solution is expected to resolve at least two of Farzana's problems. The ability to track inventory automatically and a reduction in human errors. But that's not all. Farzana has in mind certain value-added services for the CRM system, such as a meal planning function. The menu idea came when we were trying to figure out what we can do to make us different. So uh, under the WHO requirement, right, each crew has to have a certain intake of calories in every meal. Based on the nutritionist's uh, knowledge, she said every person has to have uh, 2,000 to 2,200 calories per day. There was a need to change the calorie counts, the fats and stuff because we wanted to focus on increasing their nutritional values. Okay. So for now, we focus on these five meals they need a day. Perfect. Okay, so, so you log into your account, and I want you to fill out this uh, ingredients, and then we can actually test out and check the calorie so count. Tell me what we will actually do up that 20 days menu and we will proceed to hand it over to our IT team for him to upload it onto the CRM system. Ship owners, they will know exactly what the crews are eating, what kind of diet they have on board. When it comes to the cook, for him, it will be easy because he do not have to every time crack his brain to think of what to cook and everything. The menu planning function is still a work in progress. Singapore moving company CFM Alliance has made its survey procedure virtual in order to improve its inventory management process. When COVID-19 hit the island, the firm tried several remote survey apps before it finally settled on Shift. We find their interface much easier to use. We found that from feedback from customers, they liked the app more, it was much more accessible. Um, so yeah, let's have a look in the, the living room. Is that a glass top on the coffee table, yes. Janet? Yeah? Yes. No props. It's pretty much the same as if I was in the house. It's just obviously everything is virtual now. Started in 2015, Shift is one of the pioneering virtual survey firms in America. Its video app captures desired data accurately up to 95%. What it does is it, it enables the moving company to get a really accurate estimate without having to physically send someone into the home. Our development team is constantly making updates um, to the platform to improve the efficiency and the video quality. As artificial intelligence improves, we do see ourselves um, beginning to adopt more AI into the process. A surveyor schedules a session and sends the customer a link. The customer then downloads Shift onto a mobile device. And I'll just take you into the master bedroom. They'll show us room by room and open cupboards and open doors and list out everything that's going throughout their house. Once we've conducted the final kind of walkthrough, we'll have a quick sit down and we'll discuss when they're moving, what their plan is, Anything else? Anything on the balcony or...? Yes, outside furniture. The inventory data resides in the app's cloud storage. So from here, we can see the video that we've just taken. 
we can then send this information down to our operations team to say, right, this is the fine China, this is what we need to look after, this is the iMac, this is what needs to be created, this is what needs to be protected. If there was an additional item that perhaps purchased at a later date, you could take a photo of it and upload that for us and send that through so we've got everything all in one place. With that information, we can then provide the customer with a quotation and obviously then push forward from there. Shift has been a boon during the pandemic when face-to-face -face interactions were discouraged. But there are still issues to be worked out. So now we have to take into consideration where we can park our containers, what the access is to these customers' houses. Rather than physically walking these steps, now we're reliant on the customer to provide us with this information. It's a constant learning process for us to make sure that we don't forget something that we would take for granted before and make sure that we're asking the right questions for the customers. Dan figures that the virtual survey option is here to stay. It has already helped the CFM sales team to convert up to 10% of their potential customers. We've made the process a lot more streamlined for the customers so they don't have to change their entire schedule. We can be flexible to them. And going remote has opened up a whole new world, literally, for the company and staff. So the benefit of obviously moving to this virtual platform has seen us being able to open up our doors to the world in terms of surveys. We're now able to service countries that we potentially didn't necessarily work in before. We probably carry out maybe 20% more virtual surveys than we ever did. So rather than being reliant on physical surveys from our partners around the world, we can now conduct these surveys virtually and have a much more stronger success rate because we're that sole point of contact. Ship Chandler Priboy Shipping has integrated its e-commerce website with a back-end CRM system that will improve the inventory management process. Second-generation owner Farzana Begum is going to do a presentation of the system to a potential client. Marketer Ryan Kumar will be helping to spread the word. I realized that Farzana was someone who wanted to tap on technology. And to me, that was the way moving forward. That's where we came in to tap onto our existing networks, right, in the shipping sector. So with this, we have a real-time update on the supply and order status. We also, uh, you know, instead of waiting for replies, you can instantly get the prices online. And I think it's important. First, we had a system where you can go and buy online. Now it's a system that tells you everything on what your stocks are, when are they decreasing, what you need to do next, which port you need to get them. I think it's something new for Preboy. It's something that we are always looking at, something uh, digital, uh, where we can, uh, you know, remove uh, the administrative work, uh, you know, uh, using Excel sheet, you know, doing manual uh, calculation, costs and everything. And one part of it which I think is a value add is the CRM, which uh, they're saying that their meal uh, intake, sharing the uh, calorie intake with the crew on board, is not something that we heard from the other local uh, competitors, local suppliers that we have discussion with. Captain Kamal Hussein of Hongla Marine has worked with Preboy for almost a year. These apps will be quite useful. The very good point is that this will help reducing the time period, the transportation of the crew from uh, uh, watering, going down to buy and all these things. As a whole, I can say these apps will help processing the provision and the supply. Farzana hopes to launch the integrated CRM system this year. And this is just the beginning. Right now, they only select food menu and everything. In future, they should be able to select if they have to do a crew change, they can upload the details like the crew passport and everything all online. So everything will be more systematic. Well, I'm expecting this thing to be a breakthrough for us and also for everyone because this will be one system that can be expanded to other portions of the maritime industry.
to better serve customers, moving firm CFM Alliance started using a third-party app, Shift, to conduct home surveys virtually during the planning stage of commercial and residential moves. But this did not resolve the other aspects of relocation, such as the sourcing of new housing and educational facilities for the extended family. So CFM Alliance decided to think virtual again. They adopted another third-party tool called Relocation Online, a digital platform where the DSP team liaised with customers across borders and shared information on various residential neighborhoods. This included virtual tours of potential housing options. We have communicated waiting for the school to approve this conversation. Okay, okay, that's good. Um, but we should seen it virtual. Okay, we should see it virtual. So the idea of relocation online is basically to give um, ourselves and our clients a platform that creates a singular ecosystem where every bit of coordination can be done within the same platform. So everything that we do from home finding to getting their children into international schools, even their work pass application where documents might be needed, it all can be uploaded into this uh, platform. This solution improved the coordination of relocations since all information was embedded on this platform thus improving the communication process between CFM and the customers. Heading into the future, CFM Alliance aims to improve the customer experience even further. One thing we would be able to bring right now is a track and trace where the customer can go to our website and see the status of their shipment. We want to engage the customer, offer a customer experience, if you may, and there are endless opportunities. Our client base is changing, you know, we've got younger clients that have been growing up with technology all their lives, basically. We've got to constantly look at what our clients need and what they want and how can we provide that. Surveys is one step, the relocation online and virtual elements is another step, but how can we continue to keep up with the fast pace of technology today and what our younger clients and, and all clients now are living with? So, yeah, that's something that we're going to concentrate on over, you know, the very short term, really. Thank you.